I'm the legendary Pokemon Master, and here we are with another video about the mysterious Pokemon Necrozma. It has kind of unexplained connections with the Ultra Beasts, supposedly, as according to a few different sources. So today, we will be trying to figure out what those are. With that said, without further ado, let's start. To answer this question, we first need to see where the concept of the two being related was even hinted at. The first instance, as always, with the foreboding entries is the Pokedex, saying both that it has been buried underground for a long time, and that it looks and acts a lot like Ultra Beasts. Another thing that hints at their relation is that to be able to catch Necrozma, you'd need to have caught all the Ultra Beasts. But since we're on the topic, what are the Ultra Beasts exactly? Basically, they're Pokemon from a different universe. But they're kind of on the borderline because nothing but the Master Ball and the Beast Ball catch them. I'm not gonna go too deep into it because professionals like this guy already wrote reports on it, but yeah, that's basically it. So on to relation. Other than these things, it's kind of hard to relate Necrozma to the Ultra Beasts. There's really little information on both these guys and this guy. So what did I do? I turned to Discord. And Nova came up with the answer. Thank you, Nova. There are obviously a few possibilities for Necrozma. First off is that it's an Ultra Beast, which is supported by a few things. First off, it only appears when other Ultra Beasts are captured. This may be because Ultra Beasts appear to be drawn to objects, people, Pokemon, etc. that have passed through Ultra Wormholes as it may lead back to their world. This is revealed in the story by scientists at the Aether Foundation as well as Kukui's wife, who I forgot the name of. This would explain why Necrozma appears when all the beasts are caught, in that it may be looking for a way back to the Ultra Space. Maybe since Necrozma was buried underground, it took all of the Ultra Beasts concentrated into one area area to get the attention of the Necrozma from that point. However, in my opinion, there's a more heavily backed up option that came from Nova. Thank you, Nova. That is in that Necrozma may be a Giratina-like pillar to the Cosmic Trio. Considering that Necrozma has higher stats than any Ultra Beast, if it were from Ultra Space, which is basically guaranteed by all the hints, it would be the most powerful one, especially with that move Prismatic Laser. That said, perhaps Necrozma wouldn't live alongside the other Ultra Beasts, but instead kind of led them in a way. Maybe Necrozma created the Ultra Beasts to guard over the Ultra Space, kind of like how Arceus created Palkia and Dialga to control over the realm that he created. It might sound crazy at first, but think about it. Out of every being from Ultra Space, Necrozma is the strongest. All other beings have uniform stats of 580, but Necrozma has 600. Also, Necrozma is straight up considered a Pokemon, whereas the other Ultra Beasts are kind of in a gray area. That's possibly because Necrozma created them without the express purpose of them being Pokemon, and instead just for them being guardians or inhabitants. There are also some hints at relation to Necrozma in the Ultra Beasts themselves. When Lusamine, or Lusamine, I call her Lusamine, I'm gonna get yelled at in the comments either way, merged with Nihilego at the climax of Pokemon Sun and Moon, it made this kinda odd looking being that has a lot of features similar to Necrozma actually. Don't get me wrong, it does look like the two things that it merged from, with tentacles and loose mind kinda just chilling up here. But what's with the coloring being similar? This could be because Necrozma created Nihilego, and in essence part of Necrozma is in the Ultra Beast, which was scaled up when the fusion took place. Something that I specifically took note of is the multicolored lighting being reflected right here, which basically directly relates to the description of Necrozma. However, the reason I said it's more positioned as a Giratina rather than an Arceus is because of how the fusion of Lusamine and Nihilego is destroyed by Solgaleo or Lunala in Sun and Moon. This shows opposing forces in a way, and considering these guys are from the normal world, like Arceus, and Necrozma and the Ultra Beast are from a sub-world, like Giratina, Nova and myself classified them as such. Necrozma being the creator of the Ultra Space and the leader of the Ultra Beasts could also explain one of the most unexplained things in Sun and Moon. Why Ultra Beasts started appearing so frequently and suddenly during the game. Since it is stated that the Ultra Beasts sometimes arrived before the game, albeit less regularly, maybe Necrozma had traveled to Earth and ended up being stuck somehow, prompting the Ultra Beasts to follow Necrozma to look for it. With all of these pieces falling into place, I think that this theory actually has a lot of solid ground. However, the Ultra Beasts and Necrozma are still quite mysterious, so what what do you think? How is Necrozma related to the Ultra Beasts, if at all? Please leave a comment down below. You can also subscribe to see videos like this twice a week. Regardless, Discord saved me, and I'll see you in the next video.